Well, day four began with a group of exhausted people, but we were excited and ready for the Countryside Collectors Classic Show. But the evening before, Tom and Judith Kinney invited us over to their house to see Tom's collection of 143rd models. We had a huge crowd there, and we all got down into the display room and had some chance to have some snacks and some beverages and take a look at Tom's models. Uh, they were absolutely fantastic, and I think everybody enjoyed themselves. After our visit with the Kinneys, it was off to Salerno's for pizza. This is always a great gathering. Everybody gets a chance to relax before the show on Sunday. Uh, great fellowship, great food, and the most interesting thing is you never really know who's going to show up to have dinner with you. The next morning at 7.30 a.m., the doors opened up and we moved in and began to set up our booth, the Brooklyn Form 43 booth. We had a lot of help. Uh, of course, Kelly was there with us and Skip Johnson, John Stiles, our intrepid photographer, uh, Randy Schultz, Tom Kinney was with us, Robin Julie Morrison, and Carl Snow. We need a lot of help because the booth is large and we look forward to hosting a lot of people in it. But we had a great crew. We got set up quickly. The show was big and well represented by 143rd dealers this year, uh, but our booth is always a popular attraction spot for the 143rd crowd. So let's take a look at it, show you everything we had there, and then we'll take a look at the rest of the show. There's our BCC material, uh, the new collector's guide. We've got the BCC club model, BCC applications. Here's some offerings from Brooklyn, a new Caribbean sitting there. Uh, some of the previous offerings as well. A little video on what's coming from Brooklyn, very popular item in the booth. Um, we also had a few other limited edition Brooklyns to show. Um, we made an announcement on the 50th anniversary club model. We'll be doing that here on the YouTube channel soon as well. Uh, we had giveaways, uh, door prizes, every hour on the hour. That was quite popular. Uh, giving away some Brooklyn swag and a few other things. Uh, a lot of people came to see that and uh, that, was, that was a big attraction too. Here's one of our winners here. This guy was so excited to be around the booth. He came by several times entered all of the drawings, ended up winning a Brooklyn hat and a 1954 Ford Mainline Custom. So we were happy to be able to share it with them. Of course, we were well represented by Stamp and GLM. Uh, they sent some prototypes, some 118th beautiful models, and some other models that are going to be coming within the next month, month and a half, two months or so. Of course, we're always well supported by Goldvark. Uh, Sergio has been a big supporter of the group for quite some time now. And he sent his latest offerings in all the various different colors. Those are popular too. Of course, that Form 43 banner tells everybody where we're from. Uh, then we had a couple of tables with offerings from folks in the booth. Um, you know, contact information, a uh, wide variety of models there. You can take a look at them. One of the surprises of the show was the My Take Flea Market, a uh, variety of different offerings. Stuff representing the My Take YouTube channel. A lot of people went home with some, some nice memories of the show from here. And then finally, we had some giveaways for 12 and under. We thought this would be a good way to introduce some of the kids to the hobby and maybe give them an entry into it. Let's take a quick tour of the rest of the show. Randy Schultz got around to see most of the other dealers. You know, over the last few years, we've been able to bring them all together in one general area. Makes it easy for the 143rd guys to find everybody and uh, move from booth to booth. Uh, Randy took pictures and uh, somewhere along the way, Kelly stopped and had a few minutes with Buzz Kirkle. We'll show you that as well.
Good morning, everyone, and happy St. Patrick's Day. We're here at the Countryside Collector's Toy Show doing our vendor interviews, and we missed someone very important yesterday because he wasn't available, but today you get to meet this good guy. <laughs> Would you go ahead and introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Buzz with uh, Route 66 Model Car Store. We're one of the uh, perennial ve uh, vendors here, and uh, we're here with our 143rd scale models as well as some other collectible toys. Awesome. Yeah. Is there anything today that you brought with you? Where'd you come from, by the way? We came from Cary, Illinois, which is about an hour and 15 minutes north not of here. Too bad, not too we bad. used to live right here. And I could fall out of bed and be here, yeah. but we, it's a bit of a haul today now. Oh, so, golly. Sorry for the uh, tough travel well, journeys. We're here. We made it. <laughs> what did you bring today? What would you like to feature and highlight? Because you well, always have very interesting things. Yeah, today we've got kind of a, uh, a Mopar theme, Chrysler cars. Uh, we've got everything from the uh, uh, 1940s up to the uh, 1960s. And it's some of our favorite Chrysler cars. Uh, we, uh, we have a new one that we're introducing today. It's a 1958 uh, uh, Dodge uh, Regal Lancer, which was a, a rare car back in the day. They only made a thousand of them in uh, four different colors. And it was a spring edition for Dodge uh, in order to uh, try and generate some extra sales. Um, and uh, they're beautiful cars. They're very distinctive from the regular Dodge Coronets. Um, so we're introducing this today and uh, um, some other rare cars uh, uh, for special collectors. Fantastic. Yeah. It looks like you have a great selection, which is wonderful. Thank you. It's always good for the show attenders. Yeah, right? yeah it's a lot awesome. of fun, a lot of fun. Well, we wish you a lot of luck today. Thank you, Kelly. Don't get pinched or squeezed too much, okay? You got your green on. <laughs> Pinch me. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys.
Well, that's it. That's the whole show. Uh, right there at the end, uh, our ladies in our booth ran away with some special awards they gave away. Uh, we were quite proud of them for being able to do that. Met a group of people met at Rafferty's after the show. Kelly and I headed down the road. We had a long drive, and we wanted to get on our way. Uh, but that's always a great little uh, gathering as well. Uh, so that's the wrap-up on the epic 143rd weekend Chicago shenanigans. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'd love to have you with us next year. Hey, keep your eyes and ears open. We have some very special announcements coming up, in particular about Brooklyn, the 50th anniversary. Within the next day or two, I'll be able to share that with you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like down there in the right-hand corner. Of course, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, and I've got a whole bunch of videos coming on the individual cars that we introduced at the show. Uh, we'll have those up for you real soon as well. Thanks for tuning in. 